Good morning and uh, welcome to the first marble flog of this season. It's, uh, I've waited a while to come up to the river because it's been so hot and everything and uh, yeah the rivers are very low. Catch reports aren't great on the seven so I've um, been keeping an eye on the weather and then the last couple of days there's been a little bit of rain where in the past I've said don't fish a rising river in my opinion. Um, obviously the rise is only a little bit you haven't got all crud coming down and everything so um, yeah, I plan to come up here it's a Monday morning I thought let's get up here on a Monday It'll be nice and quiet probably start the season in the same peg that I started in last year just because I know there's some fish here catch a couple and uh, then move uh, yeah I got here this morning at one minute six and uh, the rules have changed on this stretch of river. It used to be you could get on at daylight and you've got to be off uh, before dark. Well, they've changed that daylight rule to six o'clock. So, like I say, I got here, it was literally one minute to six, perfect timing. Two cars in front of me waiting to come in. As I pulled in, they pulled away. One went down to, um, oh, one stopped straight away, to be honest, by the, um, the first set of pegs along here and then the next car went down into um i can't think what it's called now where the cottages are the pegs down there so i thought happy days got a choice of uh pegs all the way up now driving up and uh get to the car park for the peg that i had in mind three cars in there <laughs> so uh obviously the six o'clock rule doesn't apply to everyone so uh Thought we're right, we'll give that a miss, and that's only, I don't know, 200 yards down from where I am now. And then I've gone up to the next car park, and there's one car in there already. So I um, thought, right, let's give this a go. It's not a peg I've fished before, but it is something I want to do this year, try and learn a few more pegs. Um, I think I probably know, this, I think it's my sixth season on here, and I know about 10 pegs out of a hundred and god I don't know how many 110 or 109 pegs so yeah I don't know a lot not even 10% of the pegs I don't know so um, yeah I've dropped into this peg and there's a guy down in the peg up from me and to be honest all along here <laughs> I think every peg's taken up a guy turned up while I was setting up he's gone further down there's a lot of bait going in on this stretch and uh I know when there's a match, match fishermen fish like that and catch fish, but I don't think it does you any favours to fish like that. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm in this peg. I'll spin the camera around and show you a bit of the peg if I can. But yeah, basically, um, I'm fishing one rod over to the far margins. I like say when I got here, I did my usual thing, spent 45 minutes baiting up no rush to get any baits in there so i've fished i've baited up one to the far margin or just off of the far margin i missed a bit actually because i don't know the peg i had a couple of little casts with a, just a lead just to make sure i've got some depth there and yeah you've got some very deep water just in front of me it's all gravel and uh, probably six foot straight in front of me so um I'm fishing that back line for one and I had a chub off of that first cast. And then I'll come along a bit and I'll bait it up in the middle as well. And uh, I've had knocks on there but nothing's come yet. And then what I will try and do is, um, as I say, this margin just in front of me, it's six foot deep and gravel so I'm trickling baits in on there as well. And uh, I will move a rod into there later on. Uh, what I will do is uh, drop the rods down when I'm fishing close in. I don't need them up that high. And uh, yeah, I'll drop them down a bit, get the line lay a bit better. Uh, yeah. So that's where we are today. Um, certainly the most comfortable peg I've ever fished in up here. Definitely, it's uh, all laid out, nice platform. They were doing platforms in the closed season, so maybe this is one of the ones that's been repaired. But yeah, it's, um, we'll see how it goes. Like I say, I've, uh, I'll do what I normally do. You know, I'll give it a few hours. If I'm not getting fish, 
or at least knocks. I'm getting the odd knock at the moment, but no fish. Then I will uh, up sticks and give another peg a go. The plan today is to stay here. I'm going to stay here till sort of nine o'clock. It's uh, left home at 3.15 and yeah, means I'll be home about midnight and uh, I'll probably try and have a kip in the afternoon. Otherwise I'll be shattered driving home. And I've said before, it's not good, you know. I'm no spring chicken and I get tired. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we'll do anyway. Uh, that's it for now. Update the vlog with a uh, either a fish, if we get a barbel, a nice barbel. Or when I'm in another swim, see you then. Okay, welcome back. So it's, uh, yeah, quarter past ten now. Um, so I've had the chub and two barbel. I weighed that first one, just because it's the first one of the season. Six pounds six. And the second one was about the same size. So, uh, yeah, probably six pound-ish. So it's just, just starting to spit with rain now, but it's perfect conditions. Overcast, which is meant to be all day. I think it's low pressure today as well. I don't think we're due to have much rain, so um, I'm going to stick it out a bit longer. I mean, I've put luncheon meat on one rod and literally as soon as it hits the bottom, you get a tape, but there's nothing there. So it's either chaplets or roach. They're not getting on the hook, so... Um, in two mines there whether to put a bigger hook on or make another rig with the hair tighter to the hook to see if I hook them but yeah I'm not sure on that interesting chain the two barbel were um so I changed the baits over to um a cheesy pellet and a big lump of um cheese paste on it it's um uh, shop bought cheese paste. I've tried making paste myself and uh, yeah, never quite get the texture right and it doesn't stay on for the cast. Whereas this, I can bring it in 15 minutes later, there's still a bit of paste still on the uh, on the pellet if I've not had a take. So, uh, yeah, that change of baits definitely made a, um, a difference. But I mean, I've not really spoken about the baits. I've got my, my usual... Um, ground bait and pellet mix with casters, maggots in there, bit of hemp, bit of corn, but I don't put that in until just before I'm going to fire it out. If you put it in too early, it just dries out and uh, yeah, floats to the top, which you don't want. Um, obviously, I've got the pellets, elip pellets, little 10 mil krill boilies, and again, it's, even though I always bring them, I'm not sure I've actually caught a barbell on a boilie. I, in fairness, I don't often put a boilie out, so um, yeah, may, maybe I'll give it a, another go today. Um, I've kept feeding this inside line, and uh, just now something steamed past. I don't know what it was, but yeah, so uh, I'll give it a little bit longer fishing the spots I'm trying to catch on. If not, then I'll bring a rod on this inside line, see if we can get anything. And yeah, if nothing happens in the next, I don't know, hour, I guess, if nothing's happened by lunchtime, half 11, 12, whatever, yeah, I'll up sticks and uh, you'll find me in another swim or another peg. But yeah, I mean, there's not a lot been happening. The guy along from me, I've seen him bring one in. There's chub rising over the back, and even in mine, there's, there's your chub rising. But yeah, not much being caught at the moment. So um, yeah, get back to you in a uh, couple of hours with an update. See you there. Welcome back. Oh, what a few hours, or well, a couple of hours. It started to rain. I had all my wet gear was up in the car. Umbrella was up in the car. And the forecast had only been for a light shower or an hour of rain. And I thought, geez, I've got to pack up, I'm soaked. So, um, yeah, I've got everything together. It's all, hopefully that's it now. I can't check the weather because I think I've said before, there's no signal anywhere in this valley. So uh, there's no getting hold of anybody, no checking the weather to see if it's going to rain later on. But yeah, I've moved swims. I'm up into uh, a peg. I've, I've sort of fished it before, but a bit, a bit further along, but... 
it's all overgrown and I've tried to break down the uh, the um, stinging nettles and everything but yeah more trouble than it's worth so um, I can still get one of the rods to the spot I want to fish the close in spot from here maybe awkward play in it but I've got a three meter landing net pole so I should be all right landing it um, yeah and the other one well there's a new tree falling down that's used to fish to the right of these trees but there's one in the water now or two really so I'm starting baiting up in a gap between the two fallen trees and see what happens I wouldn't normally do that when I'm moving swims but uh yeah because I've got you know it's 10 to 1 I'm gonna have some dinner in a minute kettle's on gonna have some dinner before I get going and um yeah because I've still got at least seven hours maybe eight hours fishing I'm happy to trickle some bait in and not put the rods out for a while and uh, see what happens. Uh, down in that peg I ended up with three chub and two barbel. So um, that was all right. Like I said, the guy had one down for me. He definitely had one chub. I didn't see him have anything else. And driving up here, every car park is rammed. I think it's, let's just turn this kettle off. I think it's just a case of it's the first time for weeks there's been any rain and anyone who can be here is here fishing and I dare say this evening any locals will be on the river as well so there are a lot of people fishing it a lot of bait going in at least up here I'm the only one here at the moment that said there was two guys leaving the car park when I um, got here and yeah they hadn't had anything either but that doesn't mean you won't have anything in here it swims, I've, I've fished the peg down there. Just what some of my old flogs when Darren comes with me. Darren's done this peg and he's done the next peg along. And we've always managed to winkle a fish out. Admittedly, sometimes it's right to death just as it's getting dark. But um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have a, uh, I might have a wander around with the uh, one rod. Just have a few chucks in some of the vacant swims. Again, cause the first swim in this section, or the first peg in this section, I walked down there once and first cast in the middle, had a barbel, nothing else out of there. But the guys, a couple of pegs along, were not happy. They'd been there all day, not catching. So uh, I might just have a wander around with a rod and a landing net and have an opportunist 10 minutes in each peg and see if I can nick one that way. But anyway, that's it for now. Time for lunch, cup of coffee. Yeah, hopefully when you see me next, I've got a fish in my hands, a nice barbel, a double figure one would be superb. Anyway, speak to you in a bit. Okay, right, let's just wrap this vlog up then. So, um, yeah, it's been a tough day. When you think conditions, there's been a bit of rain, the water's risen a little bit, it's cooled down a bit, there's plenty of colour in the water now, overcast all day, a low pressure, that's just catching fish all day long, <laughs> in theory theory doesn't always work out and there's a real struggle today that said I've literally it's uh, quarter to eight and I'm thinking right pack most things away last thing to go away the rods as I'm putting my last bits away I've shot the uh, right hand rod so I've had those two rods in the margins for in this near margin since five o'clock now so three hours before barbel came along and uh, took it but yeah eight and a half pounds so the biggest fish of the day very happy with that I've got to say so um, what else can we say about today positives I've learned a, a new peg um, I actually checked on my phone after I'd said before about um, how many pegs I thought I'd fit I, I knew that's actually the 12th peg I've caught out of on this stretch of river so over two and a half miles there's a 110 pegs I think it is and I've caught out of 12 so yeah just just about 10% of the pegs I, I've fished and caught out of I've been lucky in six years I've only blanked once so uh, that, that's a positive as well what else positives today I didn't waste my money on the um, cheese paste because the first two barbel and one of the chub was on that um, flip side of that as I said earlier I'd Never actually used me 10 mil boilies having them baiting up. Three chub and the bream were on that. 
and then I've just had that last uh, barbels on the um, oh ellipse pellet or ellipse dumbbell with a lot of ellipse pellets have been going down there and a lot of ground bait down there so um, yeah so yeah some positives to take out of the day and it didn't rain for the last three hours so most of my stuff is well it's a damn sight dried than when I got here this afternoon so um, yeah that's good I'm going home reasonably dry so all good um, I don't know what else to say really uh, it might have been a bit of a boring vlog to watch because I don't think there's been many action shots simply because the weather hasn't really allowed me to do it you know I probably would have gone into three pegs today had the weather been better but once everything was wet and uh, yeah it's hard to get moving once you're all wet so one move when I was wet was good um, yeah but not a lot else to say hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it and you're not a subscriber there's a subscribe button somewhere down there I don't really know why I do that because when I watch back I'm nowhere near the subscribe button but it's somewhere down to the left so um, yeah if you've enjoyed the vlog and not subscribed please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching and I'll be out on the bank again in the near future with another vlog see you then